What is up VR developer and happy new year everyone! Now some of you may have noticed that sadly 2022 has ended but worry no more because a new year awaits us full of possibilities and VR things to make. And we all know this being a fast evolving technology I thought it would be a nice idea to give you kind of an update of what you should expect for this year to come and how you can make a VR game in 2023. So 2022 was a big year for VR development and VR in general. We continue to surf on the boom of the metaverse, have some new devices to play, and a lot of tools got improved. So for example, this was the case for the Oculus Integration, still named Oculus and non meta for some reason, that has now some new functionalities to create interaction with both hand tracking and controllers. Now, I made a big tutorial series when this new feature came out, but unfortunately, there was a lot of changes since then, which make these tutorials really hard to follow. But anyway, I think it can still give you some help if you are interested to learn more about it. Now, in 2022, we also got some improvement with the Unity XR toolkit that I love, which is this time Unity Official SDK to help you speed up the development of your VR game. Now, lucky for you, I also made a new tutorial series in 2022 covering everything to know about it, and which I'm still updating to this day. So with all that, we can answer the big question, how can you make a VR game in 2023? And to that, my still go-to answer is to use the Unity XR toolkit. Except if you are targeting specific features from Meta, like end tracking, which is still not supported by Unity XR toolkit. Of course, new device might be releasing this year. There is rumor about a new HTC asset at the moment that I'm making this video. And still, the big Apple is set to release a VR asset someday, and it is for this reason that learning the basic functionalities of the Unity XR toolkit will ensure you that you are ready to support these devices when they are released maybe this year. So if you'd like to know more about the other SDK available, the type of VR headset and everything you need to know before getting started in VR, I also made this video summarizing everything which I think is pretty helpful. Now the good news is even if the Unity XR toolkit has changed, all of what I made in my new tutorial series on this YouTube channel is still working. So if you haven't already, go watch at least the first video of the series. But even better than that, the Unity XR toolkit has now some new functionalities like basic grab, two and grab, two and movement, pose, gaze, visual interaction animation, and more that we will have a look at right after. So without further ado, let's open Unity and see what all these new features are. Okay, so I'm inside a new Unity project and I'm using Unity 2021, the 3 with URP, but any version above this one will work. Before using the Unity XR toolkit, the setup to enable VR in the project is the same as before, so we can go at the top, edit, project settings, XR plugin management, and click on install XR plugin management. Then we can enable the open XR plugin providers. Don't forget to do this for both desktop and Android. Next, go in the Open XR settings and enable the interaction profile for all of the devices that we want to support. And this again for the Android. Again, I give more info about all of this in the first episode of the tutorial series, so go watch it if you'd like to know more. Now that it is done, we can close this Windows and download the Unity XR Toolkit by going to Windows, Package Manager, and then either click on the plus button, add package by name, and type here com.unity.xr.interaction.toolkit. Or the other way is to select here Unity Registry and search for XR Interaction Toolkit and click on Install. Either method, this will make it download the XR Interaction Toolkit in your project. But now, at the time I'm making this video, as you can see, the version that is currently available on the Package Manager is the release version 2.0. This is because the new Unity XR Toolkit 2.3 is still in pre-release and will only appear later this year on this page. But if you are like me and want to already have a look at it and test the new feature that I mentioned previously, we can still download the 2.3 version and this is what I'm going to do now. But important, if you are coming from the future and that you already see a version above 2.3 here, you don't have to do this. Now for the other people to already download the Unity XR Toolkit 2.3, let's right click here on the package folder in the project windows, show in Explorer, double click to open the folder, Open the manifest.json, 
with any text editing software that you would like. And replace here the end of the Hixar Unity Toolkit line by 2.3.0.3.1. Perfect. Now we can save the file with Ctrl plus S, close and go back to Unity. And as you can see, if we take a look back at the package manager, now the Unity XR Toolkit has updated correctly to 2.3. This is perfect. And we can click on Import Starter Assets. Okay, so now that the setup of the Unity XR Toolkit is over, let's have a look at its new functionalities. For this, let's go to Samples, XR Interaction Toolkit, our version, which is 2.331, Starter Asset, and there we have a demo scene. So let's double click on it to have a look at what's inside. Okay, so I really like this demo scene because it sums up the new functionalities. As you can see, this demo scene contains four prefab, a teleport, a user interface and an interactable sample prefab. But the most important one is this, the complete XR origin setup. So these are one of the main improvements. We now have some prefab that we can directly use for our project. So now, instead of having to redo the XR rig every time, you can basically simply drag this prefab in your scene. And more than that, you can even find more prefab next to our demo scene over there in this prefab folder, which I think is pretty useful. But now back to our scene, let's have a look at this complete XR rig prefab. As you can see, it has its locomotion system already set up in the XR origin with continuous and snap turn right there. But also it has the continuous movement that was now renamed dynamic move provider and teleportation, which is triggered by the teleportation ray in its children and that we will have a look afterwards. So we've already implemented all of these locomotion system in my previous uh, tutorial series, but something new that we can now find with this rig prefab is that you can set the direction that the player will have after teleporting with the joystick, which is pretty cool. But even more than turn, move and teleportation, we also have a new locomotion system that I'm super happy to see here, the two-ended grab move. Now, I've previously talked about this locomotion system in one of my exclusive tutorials on my Patreon, where you can find other exclusive tutorials, by the way, link in the description. So this movement helps you quickly navigate by grabbing the world around you. You can have a look at the settings and tweak this movement on this component right there and in the grab move provider component that are in the right and left end, as you can see here. Now, in the case you want to get rid of it, for your game and stay with only the continuous and teleportation, you can simply go back in the XR origin and uncheck it over there. So this two-handed grab move provider script. Okay, so this was the setup for the locomotion of the player, but we have some more interesting thing to see in the controller. So if we select either the right or left hand, we can see that on top of the XR controller that we already know, we have here a new script called Action Based Controller Manager. So this script will allow you to manage a different interaction. It's similar to the script that we made to disable teleportation when holding an object in my tutorial series. And as you can see, it also has some settings to enable smooth motion and turn with this end input. So you can basically tweak this with the two boolean value over there. And then we have the grab move provider, which is used by the two end grab move locomotion system that we just talked about earlier and that you can also uncheck if you'd like. Now we also have another new element on this hand that is quite interesting and it's the interaction group. The interaction group will enforce that only one interactor from this list is interacting at a time. So pretty handy to control how we can interact with an object. Finally, we can have a look at the children of the hand. And as you can see, we have a controller model, which is kind of cool, but uh, unfortunately it is not animated. And then four interactors, we already know three of them, the direct interactor to direct grab an object, the ray interactor to interact with far away object, and the teleportation ray, which is calling the teleportation provider in the XR origin, and that is used to teleport the player. But we have a new one called poke interactor, which as the name suggests, can be used to know when we are poking an object like a button for example. And this interactor will get its dedicated tutorial that will be released soon on this YouTube channel, so make sure to subscribe and activate the bell to notice the tutorial when it is released. <laughs> so now that we know more about the interactor of this trick, let's have a look at the new feature for the interactable. 
Now, there are three new functionalities for the interactable. Gaze interaction, to and grab, and affordance. That's right, if I select one of these interactable in my demo scene, as you can see, we can now enable here the gaze interaction and gaze select, which basically will allow you to hover or select an object just by looking at it. Pretty useful if you want to simply trigger something like a talking character when you look at it or anything. But if you want to enable the gaze interactor by default, as you can see, it's not present in the complete XR origin setup. So to simply add it to this prefab, you need to go to starter asset, prefab, then XR origin pieces. And as you can see, we have our gaze interactor over there. So we simply need to drag it under the camera offset. Make sure that its position is at zero, zero, zero. And now let's try what it is by clicking on play. And now, as you can see, I can interact with all of the three gaze interactable using my head. This is awesome. Next, for the two hand grab and affordance, these are features that I'm super happy to see and which will allow you to grab and manipulate an object with two hands. And then the affordance system will allow you to create visual animation when interacting with an object. Now, as there are quite a few things to say about these, these two features will get their own tutorial on this YouTube channel later, where we will see how to set them up and use their parameters precisely. But I know if you are too impatient to wait until then, I will leave in the description this simple GitHub project made by Eric Provencher, VR developer at Unity, that will show you this feature in action so that you can already play with them. And that basically sums up all of the new features of the Unity XR toolkit. There is also some noteworthy improvement that was made to the device simulator that was talked about, I think, last year. And of course, some minor bug fixes that are always nice to have. But in resume, I believe 2023 will be an amazing year for VR development. The base remains the same and I hope my tutorial will keep working as long as possible. And I'm really happy to see all of these improvements made. Now I'm super strong also for this new year to come and I can't wait to see what 2023 will bring us. My personal goal for this YouTube channel is to keep going on the same pace we were at the end of 2022, which is release three videos per month here on YouTube and one exclusive tutorial per month on my Patreon. So if you'd like to support my work and get access to these exclusive content, join us, link in the description, or you can always like and subscribe with this video. And of course, let me know what tutorials you'd like me to make for the year to come. Love you guys and see you soon. Bye bye.